Okay, it's Vic Camp here, and uh, I'm in my garage game room. And as you can see, on the floor laying down here is the head to a Gottlieb Super, super Score. It's a two-player game, has a very nice back glass on it, and uh, great graphics and artwork with the pinball machines there to the left of the glass. And of course, this here is a feature that lights up during play that five hundred thousand and two thousand dollar bumper on pop bumper on that uh, two thousand point pop bumper on that pinball machine which is similar cabinet design as the one itself that I just picked up from Neptune New Jersey that's South Jersey it's down here by the ocean it was in a house and uh, the house was a hoarder's house. The realtor that told me about this game for sale uh, had mentioned to me that it was the worst house she's ever been in in 25 years and uh, unfortunately the coin door was locked when I got there so all I could see was the head. It didn't look that bad. Uh, we can turn around the head and take a look at the back of it. This is what I saw when I got down there does not look that bad. There's one relay hanging here, but that's nothing at all. So uh, there was no signs of, oh, there's a broken wire here, but that's another easy fix to that. Wow, 100 point gong bell. So the bells are here, uh, the zero to nine unit and the bell is there. So this game is looking pretty good already, but uh, the house was atrocious. And I did see uh, some poop in the pictures previously before I picked up the game of mouse poop on the uh, top of the apron here I think that's where they spent most of their time so I really couldn't see in the game because again I was uh, not able to open this door but when I got it home I stuck a screwdriver in the lock there and just turned it really hard and I got in there and this is what I saw a giant mouse home here looks like they chewed up a lot of just paper I mean uh, that's part of the schematic and uh, here's a part of a newspaper ad home appliances so I don't know what else is in there I'm not going to go through the United States just an envelope so they kind of this big pile of uh, uh, shredded you know, mouse house <laughs> was right here in the coin box, but uh, it's not that bad. There's no smell, which is great. I'm glad I opened this up. You can see over here, there's some paper stuck to that fuse block, but that's nothing. There's paper here and then paper throughout the uh, lower cabinet, which is uh, doesn't seem to be too bad. Let me get a light and try to get a bigger, better look at it. Okay, here we go. So as you can see, I don't know, that could very well be just someone's notes or something. I'm going to try to pull that out nicely. And as you can see back here, it's pretty much congested back there. There's a lot of stuff thrown. I see the game meter back there. Someone had taken out the game meter from this spot right here, but that's nothing. So I'm pretty happy. Oh, I see something over here. Doesn't look too bad. It's on the trip bank here. Looks like they, they just were really just tying on to this. Here is this. Uh, just a lot of rug material. They must have worked pretty hard to get that up down in here. It was pretty, pretty well... Uh, some paper so yeah you know uh, once I get the vacuum out and clean this all out not bad and like I said really doesn't smell that much oh I see a little debris up here from the play field just sitting down into the probably the big pile that used to be here so you can see there's no stainage at uh, not much at all and uh, I'm gonna clean this guy up pretty pretty well and uh, I'm sure this game has been sitting for many years.
flippers seem okay. I'll check all of everything else. Motor don't seem to be damaged. No eating, eating, no mouse wire, uh, mouse uh, that ate wires or anything. So yeah, it's just going to be pretty much a cleaning up. And uh, like I said, here's a nice comparison of what the color used to look like. I'm going to give it a good cleaning. And uh, the play field looks really, really dirty. We'll get to that in a moment. And uh, we got to polish that plastic up. So as you can see, these uh, plastic, these uh, rubbers that were on these uh, are just deteriorated. That's a 30, that's a 35 plus or 40 year rubber just sitting. Plastic's nice and straight, just dirty. Pop bumpers look real nice to caps, just dirty. So, I mean, this play field has hardly any arch rear, and I'm not even cleaning it yet. Very nice play field. It's going to come out good. Uh, the metal's somewhat distorted, but again, overall, I'm pretty happy about going and get this game. I mean, the back glass is real nice. Side of the cabinet needs a cleaning. And... Uh, I'm going to go to town on it. This side's a little bit more chewed up, this cabinet. And uh, like I said, I got this open, so we're going to continue to clean this. And uh, I'll give you another video soon. And here's my son, Vic. He's the guy who went down here and drove me to get the, the game. Thank you very much. I appreciate your uh, driving skills and uh, your strength to lift it out of there with me. So, yeah. So we're going to get to work on this. And we'll get back with another video of the Gottlieb two-player super score pinball machine. See you next time.